Today, Indiana police say that seven women found murdered over the last few days may be victims of a serial killer. A suspect in custody has been talking to detectives, and here's Dean Reynolds. The trail that led to at least seven bodies began Friday night at this motel in Hammond, Indiana. Hey, hey. Here we are, Hammond, Indiana. Right on the edge of Gary and Hammond, on the east side of Hammond. The Motel 6 here. We're going to tell you a story about Darren Van, who was a serial killer from Gary. And he killed multiple women and dumped their bodies in uh, abandoned houses around the city of Gary. But over here in Hammond, this was the beginning of the end for Darren Van. They found a girl here in a bathtub, strangled. Horrible. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy that people can do stuff like that. But it happens on a daily basis. I know what room it's in, right over here. So we're gonna go over there and show you. And then we're gonna tell you the story. Darren Dion Van, born March 21, 1971, is an American serial killer. He was arrested on October 18, 2014, for the murder of 19-year-old Afrika Hardy at a Motel 6 in Hammond, Indiana, and has confessed to the murders of six other female victims in Indiana. John Doty is the Hammond Chief of Police. During a subsequent interrogation of Mr. Van, he admitted his involvement in the Hammond incident and had expressed an interest in notifying police of other criminal incidents he was involved with. He led police to those women's bodies, all of which were found in five abandoned structures in Gary, Indiana. Karen Freeman Wilson is the mayor. He preyed on individuals that might be less likely to be reported missing. Before the police investigated the murders for which Van was detained, Thomas Hargrove, founder of the Murder Accountability Project, together with a Gary, Indiana deputy coroner, attempted to persuade police that there were 18 similar murders pointing to a serial killer in Gary, Indiana area. Van was born on March 21, 1971 in Indiana. He was married 16 years to Maria Van, who was about 30 years older than him. He was reportedly arrested in Gary, Indiana for threatening the life of his girlfriend. He was charged with a Class D felony and spent 90 days in jail. Van was previously convicted on September 28, 2009 in Travis County, Texas of a sexual assault committed in Austin in 2007 and sentenced to five years in a state penitentiary before being released on July 5, 2013. His wife, Maria Van, filed for divorce in August 2009 and their marriage was dissolved in 2011. In August 2010, Thomas Hargrove, a reporter with the Script Howard News Service, used an algorithm later the basis of the murder accountability project which Hargrove founded to analyze the crime data which strongly suggested a serial killer was at work in Gary, Indiana. 
Hargrove repeatedly urged the local authorities to investigate 15 suspicious deaths in the period of 1980 to 2008 identified by his work. The local authorities denied there was any evidence showing a serial killer was at work. A Gary deputy coroner, whose suspicions were also rebuffed by the local police, agreed with Hargrove and also added three suspected victims to the list. When 19-year-old Afrika Hardy was found strangled in a Motel 6, authorities used Hardy's phone records and located Van. Upon apprehension, Van was found to have possessions of several key pieces of potential evidence, which included Hardy's phone. During police interrogation, he allegedly confessed to his involvement in the Hardy killing and told police he was involved in other killings. Van was previously convicted of a sexual assault in Texas seven years ago. Police say he directed them to the bodies of six more women found in abandoned houses in Gary, and he indicated ominously that there could be more. It could go back as far as 20 years, based on some statements we have, and that's yet to be corroborated. Hammond Mayor Thomas McDermott called the suspect a serial killer. And maybe it's because he doesn't want to spend the rest of his life in jail. Maybe that's why he's cooperating. His first court hearing was scheduled October 22nd. However, he was held in contempt of court. His next hearing was held on October 28th at the Lake County Jail in Crown Point, where he pleaded not guilty to two charges of murder. Filed against him in the deaths of Afrika Hardy and Anitha Jones, a well, as well as robbery. His trial was originally sus supposed to begin on June 22nd, 2015, but this trial date was canceled on April 17, 2015, when the request for a death sentence was filed. The trial date of June 22, 2015 was subsequently restored. Van's attorney requested that the trial be delayed, and the trial was again delayed to January 25, 2016. In December 2015, Lake Superior Court Judge Diane Ross Boswell rescued herself from the hearing from hearing the case. Judge Samuel Kappas subsequently said he would take the case. In December 2015, Van's trial was delayed to July 24, 2016. On March 7, 2016, Van was charged with murder in the deaths of five additional victims. The death penalty was originally sought for each. The following day, Van was charged with rape and attempted murder for an alleged February 2014 attack. Van was also charged with battery by bodily waste for allegedly throwing a carton of urine and feces at a Lake County Correctional Officer at the jail on February 24, 2016. In April 2016, Judge Samuel Kappas denied a motion by Van's attorney to sever the murder case of Anith Jones and Afrika Hardy, and as a result, the capital murder trial in said cases would have continued as one. In a motion filed August 5, 2016, Van's attorney argued that Indiana's death penalty law is unconstitutional. In January 2017, a Lake County judge decided that Van could make an appeal with his claims that Indiana's death penalty statute is unconstitutional. In April 2017, the Indiana Supreme Court turned down Van's request to look at constitutionality of, of the state's death penalty statute before it went to trial. At a status hearing in April 2017, Judge Samuel Kappas set jury selection to begin the week of February 12, 2018, with the actual jury trial beginning around March 12, 2018. In October 2017, Lake Superior Court Judge Samuel Kappas delayed the trial date. With jury selection being scheduled to begin September 17, 2018, and the trial beginning October 22, 2018. On May 4, 2018, Van pleaded guilty to seven murders as part of a plea agreement. Prosecutors dropped the death penalty. On May 25, 2018, Van was sentenced to seven concurrent life sentences without parole. Van's victims, Afrika Hardy. 19, had recently moved to Chicago after graduating from high school. She met Van at a Motel 6 at 3840 179th Street in Hammond, Indiana, after he hired her through an escort agency. She was found dead in a bathtub in one of its rooms on October 17, 2014. 
Anith Jones, 35, of Gary, Indiana, was last seen alive on October 8, 2014, and reported missing two days later. After Van was arrested, he led police to abandoned house at 415 East 43rd Avenue in Gary on October 18th, where her body was found. Tiari Beatty, 28, of Gary, Indiana, left to meet a friend on January 13, 2014, but she never returned. Her family waited to hear from her for a few days, but reported her missing later that month. Her body was found in an abandoned house at 1800 East 19th Avenue in Gary on October 19th. Christine Williams, 36, of Gary, Indiana, was a mother of four and employed at the time of her death. Her mother-in-law stated that she had not heard from Williams since February 2014. Her body was found in an abandoned house at 4330 Massachusetts Street in Gary on October 19th. Tracy Martin, 41, of Gary, Indiana, was reported missing on June 26, 2014. Her body was found in an abandoned house, 2200 Massachusetts Street in Gary on October 19th. Sonia Billingsley, 53, of Gary, Indiana, was reported missing on February 7, 2014. Her body was found in an abandoned house with the body of Tanya Gatlin at 413 East 43rd Avenue in Gary on October 19th. Tanya Gatlin, Tanya 27, of Gary, Indiana, had been missing since January 2014. Her body was found in an abandoned house with the body of Sonia Billingsley at 413 East 43rd Avenue in Gary on October 19th. Yeah.